Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Today we are making banana split cake. And I am excited. <laughs> welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Where we keep it hillbilly fabulous. Yee yee! All right, y'all, banana split cake. I promise you this is going to be the easiest cooking video that I have ever made. There is absolutely no mixing involved in this cake. So, I will include all the ingredients in the description on this video, but here's what you gotta have. First thing you have to have is bananas, of course. You have to have a can of strawberry pie filling, a can of crushed pineapple, chocolate chips, walnuts, and a vanilla cake mix. Now, you don't want to get a white cake mix or a yellow cake mix. You want to make sure that it says vanilla. Okay, so here's what you got to do. First thing you're going to do, you're going to take this can of crushed pineapple. Now, you're going to use the whole can. You don't drain it or anything like that. You're just going to take the whole can and you're gonna put it in the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. Now you do wanna spray some cooking spray on the pan before you um, put your pineapples in there and just spread it out. Do the best you can. It's kinda of thick. Just pat it out on the bottom. Just like that. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is take your strawberry pie filling. Same thing. Open it up, and you're gonna spoon this over the bottom, over on top of the pineapple. Just like this, okay? Now, the next thing you're gonna do after this, all right, get all that spreaded out good. Then you're going to take your bananas. It, the recipe calls for three. Um, you can use as many as you want. I'm, this one kind of has a bad spot in it, which is not the end of the world. But um, you're just going to slice these bananas. on the bottom, or on the top, actually, of the pineapples and strawberries. And I'm gonna finish this and I'll be back. Okay, now, once you get your bananas on there, that's what it looks like. And it just looks like a big fruity mass right now. That's it, that's all it looks like. Next thing you wanna do, take your chocolate chips. Now, there's really, you know, there's really no measurement for the chocolate chips. You just kind of throw them on here. You can use as many as you want or as little, or you can omit them all together if you want to. But, um. It's really to your taste. It is, just whatever you want to do. You like chocolate, put more in chocolate chips. If you don't like as much chocolate, I'm put gonna as say many. about half a bag or so. Um, it's good, yeah, it's gonna be plenty. Half a bag is about, is plenty. And make sure you get them kind of over on the edges really well because it'll all melt and run to the middle. So about half a bag of chocolate chips. You can use milk chocolate, semi-sweet, whatever you want to use. I'm actually using semi-sweet because I just had them here at the house. Um, same thing with the walnuts. You can omit these too. Um, these are actually walnut halves and walnut pieces, but now you can use what you know whatever kind of nuts you want. Of course, walnuts kind of goes with um, banana splits. You can use so you peanuts. You can chop them up. Yeah. You can chop them up. You can leave them kind of in halves, and this is what this is. I just, like I said, I just happen to have these here, so I'm just going to use the rest of this bag just so I can throw this back away. You can use peanuts, almonds. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to take this cake mix. The only thing you want to do to it is open the bag. That's all you want to do. And you just want to pour this 
right on top. Just dry. Okay? Dry cake mix right on the top. Try to get it as even as possible so it will cook even. Like that. I just made a mess. I slopped it. My hands are clean, so I'm going to just kind of go over it with my hand and just kind of fill in the holes if there are any. All right. There's what it looks like so far. Now, the very last step, you want to take a stick and a half of butter. Now, y'all know I use unsalted butter. And since we're baking, I'm going to use unsalted butter. And you want to cut these in very small, very thin pats, okay? And you want to put this all over the top of the cake. And when I finish this, I will be back. All right, so after you get your butter on top, here's what it looks like. It actually looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It's kind of, like Joe said, it's kind of cobbler-ish. It's not really... It's kind of like, like a, a banana cake. split cobbler. Yeah, it is. So... Let me recap this. We've got crushed pineapple, strawberry pie filling, bananas, chocolate chips, walnuts, cake mix, butter. That's it. So, you got to bake this in a preheated 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, here's what the banana split cake looks like right out of the oven. We'll let it cool for just a little while, and I'll let Big Joe do the taste test. All right, so it kind of does turn out like a cobbler, obviously, because the cake part is on the top, but it looks good, and it smells really good, too, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's see what you think about it. Mmm. Mm. Tastes like a banana split? Tastes like a banana split, but nice and warm. <laughs> it's really good. This banana split it gets my mm 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 mm. All right, y'all. That's it for the banana split cake. Good. Real good. <laughs> if you try this recipe, please let us know down in the comments because we would love to know how you like all our recipes. And as always, we want to thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joe Malia's world into your world. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye. Bye.